Hello, 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 and welcome to Tarot Spills the Tea. This is what you guys voted on. This is what you guys have been waiting for. So this is the beginning of me going ahead and breaking down the panel. Um, the panel as I know it, because I know I did do one on Auntie M. So, what's the real reason Schoolboy left the All About the Tea public discussion panel? And let me tell you guys, the reason why I, I'm specifically saying public discussion panel is because when you are asking spirit and using tarot, you have to be very specific, okay? So, I'm very specific. So, I'm sure you've read the title, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. But, before we do, I do need to point out that this is for entertainment purposes only, and every single word is alleged and not to be used as facts. You can see that in the bar below. If you drop your beautiful eyes down and see that red bar, that's what it says. And every time you see that bar, that sentence within applies. Per usual, I do need to let you know that I am in the Go Sage, and I do have a spiritual website at unapologeticallysage.com. You can also find Unapologetically Sage on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. What you are looking at to the left is the back of my own personal deck which is the Ultimate Clarifiers deck. Now, I must point that out because I decided to use it. I did because I wanted to find out more information. Um, so, let's get started. So, as you guys know already, um, for my regular Sagey, um, I there's five positions and then I have a bonus which is the energy card as I already said in the beginning I did use my ultimate clarifiers deck to do clarifiers all right so the question that I asked was what's the real reason schoolboy left the all about the tea public discussion panel and one of the reasons why I well the reason why I specifically said public discussion panel is because you can't just ask um, well, it wouldn't be wise, let me put it like that, to act spirit um, and use tarot by just saying, why did they leave all about the tea? Because that's too general. So you have to be very specific. And saying the public discussion panel is as specific as I could get without putting in PM, you know, like putting in a time and a night and all that kind of stuff. So... Before I could even get started with my clarifiers, um, the career deck came out, which is still my clarifiers. Um, I have the main clarifiers deck, and then I have career, I have love, and then I have um, some other cards. So anyway, um, the career deck came out, like strong energy. So she's career-oriented. Which, I was happy to hear that, you know, um, I don't know why, like, you know what, <laughs> I know I'm getting ready to sound like Tyra Banks, but I was rooting for you, I was rooting for the entire panel, okay, um, so anyway, moving right along, because I, I promise I am going to be straight to the point, and try not to keep you guys long, but it will be as long as it needs to be, okay, but, um, so, with the career, Spirit told me to get a beginning card and end card. And it's funny because I thought that, you know, oh, okay, let me pick this card before I get the clarifiers and then I'll get the end card. But no, no, they were like, here this is and here this is. So, um, before, so remember the question is her leaving. All right. So all of my answers and all these cards will be focused all around her decision to leave the public discussion panel, all right, so before she joined, okay, um, changing careers in limbo, yes, it's okay for your job to be different, you are divinely led, 
all right? So she feels like she was divinely led and she had questions on whether or not to even join it in the, in the first place, you know, and she sought out spiritual guidance in the first place on this. And it's heavy for her with career because whatever she, I know, I believe she said she was in, and all of this is alleged, but like medical billing, something to do with medical, and I believe billing and, and files and folders and medical billing and stuff. I don't know. Um, I don't know for sure. I just recollect something along those lines. And so with her asking, first of all, this is a career oriented decision, period, going in and coming out. All right. That's the reason why I keep saying career, career, career. She's career oriented. Um, and it's funny because it's funny. Um, Spirit just said it's different when someone is all about the money. Her focus was career, which leads the, the uh, excuse me, them making that distinction, spirit making that distinction leads me to believe they're saying that because she wants a career that'll make her happy, something that she enjoys, which we all do. But but sometimes people want money more than they want, want to be happy. They think, y'all know what I'm saying. All right. I'm not going to get sidetracked. But um, so she she went out, she um, reached out to spirit about the changing of career. And was this a good idea? All right. When she left, after she left, because they were very clear before and after this decision, the question isn't, am I working hard enough? It's, is this truly what I want to do? So after she made that decision to go ahead and leave and separate herself from the public discussion panel for All About the Tea, she examined is this truly what I want to do? That's the main question that sticks out on that card. All right, moving right along. The first position, as always, is the past. In this position, the information that I give you guys, the information that Spirit has given me and that I'm reiterating is what affects the present position, which is next, all right? So a deep emotional connection. The card is two of chalices, all right? That can be referred to as two of cups. Um, so it's not romantic. So let me go ahead and wipe that out. It's not romantic. I asked about three times, but it's not... <laughs> I didn't really, really ask three times, but I, I just had a, um, I dug in deeper and deeper and deeper for more and more clarification. Um, but I, I, it's not romantic. It's not a romantic thing. And so me digging in was like, well, why are you using two of cups to express this? And what it is, is we have to take our mind from what two of cups normally is used for, which is normally love, romantic love. It's not that. And this was the, it's because it's a deep emotional connection is what it is. That's what it is. And two of cups can be used even with just friendship. Two of cups can be used with family. Two of cups, the essence of two of cups is a deep emotional connection it does not necessarily mean romantic although 90 percent of the time that's how it shows up in our you know in reads in terrible reads it usually shows up on that romantic side um but in this case it, it does not mean romantic it just really really means a deep emotional connection and what I got is, um, you, you guys, I don't know if you guys know, there's a song that says, and, and my allergies have been acting up. I'm so glad I have not coughed as of yet. You know, let me know. I ain't got no wood. I'm surrounded by glass. But um, knock on wood, figuratively, I haven't coughed. But do you guys know that song? Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. 
Okay, I tried to do that little thing. Um, that song was playing. This was her mentality. And it's shown in the... Um, you know what? Let me go to the clarifier and uh, explain. All right, this is funny. Um, it's funny because I was hoping the clarifier... Anyway, um, so before I go into this clarifier real quick, let me finish what I was saying. Her feeling like it's just the two of us, that's backed up by Bishop and his, you know, Bishop Finally Speaks speech. He was saying that Schoolboy would call him and told him that Monica would record the calls. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. That red bar is at the bottom. So anyway... Um, and then he also said that he was careful when just talking to Schoolboy because he said she records calls too. Now, I don't know if he backed out of that and said, I don't know. I'm not for sure. I don't know if he was joking because you know how he'll say things and then do a little, like a, a laugh. Um, but I, I'm just catching, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm picking up what he putting down. And what I had heard him put down was Monica records calls, Schoolboy told him that, and Schoolboy records calls too, so he's very careful. Um, and back to that, just the two of us, uh, he said that Schoolboy would call him, and then Monica would be on the three-way. So my thing is, now I remember one time he said, well, he, one time he said they both called him, I think they both called him twice. And it was about the, the play stuff, you know, um, kept on asking him, what does he think? What does he think? Doesn't, doesn't that make him upset? Doesn't that, aren't you upset? You know, how do you feel? Blah, 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 blah. But, um, my point is she felt, schoolboy felt it was the two of them, like doing something. I don't know what they was exactly what they were doing. Because it didn't come, it did not come to fruition. And I'm going to tell you something, and I'm led to say this real quick. You can't mess with God's child. You can't. You can try, but you won't succeed. And I'm not getting ready to start preaching, but whatever it was that they were trying to do, she felt like it was just the two of them. And even though they were trying to finesse the whole rest of the panel, you know, and some of them they got to, some of them they didn't. Um, you know, you can't, you can't mess with God's child and it didn't come into fruition, but she felt like it was just two of them. I don't know what they little two of them plan was, but they both had a certain amount of trust. Like schoolboy trusted Monica, like full throttle. And we all know that. Okay. Um, but Monica also had Monica. First of all, Monica trusted herself as a narcissist, but she also, she trusted her skills more, her claws more into schoolboy. I, I don't know. I know that might sound funny. I don't know really how to explain it right now, and I'm not trying to be long-winded today. Okay. Clarifier. This could be your big chance. Go for it. The answer is yes. Seek guidance from your guardian angels on how to seal the deal. Now, this card came in reverse. This means that Schoolboy did not follow the guidance from her higher power. Show sure, sure enough, she did not. Because higher power did not say record phone calls and team up with this narcissist and, you know, talk crazy to somebody who ain't done nothing to you. You know, higher power didn't tell her to do that, um, which I don't need cards. We don't need cards to tell us that higher power didn't tell her to do that. Um, I guess it depends on who her higher power is. Okay. But, um, mm -mm. It, 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 mm -mm. that's why it was in reverse. That's why it was in reverse. Whoever her higher power is, she didn't follow through. She didn't, she didn't, she taught, she was guided by higher power, asked for higher power guidance when she accepted the, to be a panelist. But then somewhere there she stopped and that was a mistake. That was her mistake. All right. So, um, 
she thought this was her big chance, which is why, you know, the, the clarifier came out. This could be your big chance. The answer is yes. Go for it. You know what I'm saying? And that's backing up more of that first career card, right? But she did not follow through with following the guidance of her higher power. You can't sit up here and get too... First of all, a person should never be so comfortable to where they'd be like, I don't need higher power guidance. I'm good. I got monocle. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Welcome to the present position. In the present position, we have two of pentacles. All righty, two of pentacles, and it was in the reverse. All right, so upright, two of pentacles means maintaining balance and creating good things, okay? Um, as you can see, she's mixing up some stuff and making a cake or a pie or biscuits, um, breadsticks. I think I see some breadsticks. Anyway, um, it was in reverse, though. All right, so maintaining balance and creating good things was in reverse, which means stressed and unable to give anything in your life the attention it deserves. So this was what was going on in her mind, body, and soul as she made that decision to leave. And it's funny because if you look at her IG video, you can tell this, you know, it was stressed and unable to give your life the attention it deserves. Um, anything in your life, excuse me, anything in your life, the attention it deserves, which is why she said, I'm, I'm leaving. Um, honey, I got confused because uh, she started talking to third person. She was leaving the panel, leaving YouTube, leaving schoolboy, leaving her skin, leaving her hair follicles. She was leaving her shoes, leaving everything and going on vacation to Atlanta. And I'm like, you leaving all of that? What in the world now? Who now? And when she, you know, started talking that third person stuff, I was like, wait a minute. I Wait, what? Um, it was just a little confusing for me to follow. I couldn't really follow it 100%. Um, and then later, okay, after my slow butt caught up, um, I, I realized, okay, she's talking to third person. And then I was like, well, you don't really have to leave your, first of all, I don't, look, I am indigo sage. You will never catch me saying, um, and I know they say never say never, but I'm, I'm saying it. You'll never catch me saying, um, I'm going to leave indigo sage tarot. Like this is, that's me. You know, yes, I do have a government name, but I'm not going to talk about Indigo Sage as a third person because this is me when I started, start reading, you know, so it, it was just weird. And I just thought it would behoove her to just maybe say, just, just apologize and go on. Basically continuing on. Okay. Okay. So basically what I was saying was that her goodbye speech was very ultra dramatic. Um, a lot of them, their speeches were dramatic, but hers was dramatic and a little bit weird. The clarifier for the reversed two of pentacles, I believe it was, is there's nothing like feeling alive. And this was upright, which... I was so happy for because there's a lot of reverse cards in this reading and I'd be like, uh, you know, but it was upright. Yay. Um, so I'm like, okay, so she was feeling a lot. And actually I'm going to be honest. What I think is that she wanted to feel alive. I don't, if you look at her face, cause I'm like, well, this is a beautiful card. There's nothing like feeling alive. However, when you look at her face, when she was making her, um, um, goodbye speech or whatever. It didn't look like she felt alive. Um, <laughs> that's not what I was getting. But, um, anyway, you haven't felt alive in a long time. Keep doing what you are doing. You ain't hurt nobody. Enjoy yourself. All right. The line that stuck out to me is the, you ain't hurt nobody. What I feel is that 
she doesn't want to hurt anyone anymore. Because remember, you guys, um, if you guys have, you know, if you're regular stages, then you already know, because I've already explained that this is my Ultimate Clarifiers deck, and I channeled Spirit and, you know, uh, mapped out the entire guide for it. So even though the guide for this card says you ain't hurting nobody, um, I think she doesn't want to hurt anyone anymore. That's my interpretation. So, and I think she wants to get back to feeling alive, you know, because she, she probably, she, I mean, she's a young person, you know, she has the use of her limbs as, as my big mama would always say, you know, you woke up this morning and you got the use of your limbs. You need to thank God. You know what I'm saying? So, so she probably used to be energetic and happy and that is what she wants to get back to and not all of this stressful stuff and losing subscribers oh lord spirit is funny sometimes um they reminded me of her saying i'm losing subscribers by the minute um oh she was drugged for that and, and i'm not gonna do that moving on so the best of the decision to leave the panel her envision is represented by the knight of pentacles and this knight works with the energy of the land to manifest his will all right so what that translates to is she's gonna use <laughs> There it is, about halfway through. There's my allergy cough. Um, but she's going to use this for her 15 minutes of fame. So let me let me go ahead and keep reading. Deci she decided to use this 15 minutes to become famous slash known for something else. She began to review restaurants. Okay? Um, and you know what? Hey, more power to her to try to spin it and turn it. There's nothing wrong with that. I just don't feel like it worked. I don't think it worked. What do you think? What do you guys think? Um, but there's nothing wrong with trying to go ahead. Okay, so everybody got me on their lips. Let me do something different, okay? It, But it didn't work, however. Um, I saw a little piece of her in Atlanta, and she seemed rude to the um, wait staff and I didn't like that. I've never been a um, waitress before, but I, I've definitely been in the industry, and um, that's not cool. And you know what? Whether I've been in the industry or not, you don't have to be in the industry to know that wasn't cool. It just wasn't cool. Um, and, and I heard that she went on a different platform and explained it, and, you know, I believe someone said that she had said that. Um, she was a comedian, and she was being a comedian. Um, I didn't get that feeling. I just got rudeness. And how dare you, okay? <laughs> That's what I got. However, the best of this situation, her decision to leave was that she was going to turn that 15 minutes into, you know, something else to carry her through. Because, like, I, like let me remind you guys. This is a career choice, all right? Even though she said she was leaving YouTube, she was leaving school boy, she was leaving, you know, her skin and the hair follicles and everybody, sneakers and tennis shoes, just leaving them. Um, she was no, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't, and she didn't. This is a career choice that she actually would like to have. She just doesn't know how to come back from this. But the best of it is, you know, um, switching this 15 minutes up to do something else. Let's look at the clarifier. Well, 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 well. Look at this clarifier. All right. And yes, this, these are the words on this clarifier. The best ways to finally come into your own. And it was reversed, you guys. You've been waiting for this recognition, and here's how you finally get it. It was in reverse. Need I say more? Need I say more? 
Um, this just, you know, is more proof that she wants to come into her own and she wants to separate from, first of all, who in the heck wouldn't want to separate from that fiasco, from that mess? Um, but she wants to separate from it and she wants to leave that in the past. Ooh, Spirit said, and y'all won't let her. First of all, it ain't me. I'm just doing this reading and I'm going to move on. Um, people, okay? People won't let her. I'm like, Spirit, don't come through trying to check me. <coughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm coughing and stuff. But uh, she wants to move on from this, all right? So let's move on from this. Um, well, but first of all, I just got to say it again, she, she's been waiting for this recognition and, and she finally gets it. But this is why it's in reverse because she didn't want it like this. Okay. Now, let's move on. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So here's the thing. You guys made it this far. Go ahead and click like. It's free. Click subscribe. It's free. And click um, that bell so that you know when I post about why the next panelist left. Okay? We get ready to break it down for all of them. Why they left. All right? Things, we're going to find out what it is they're not saying. What it is they're not telling us. Okay? Juicy, juicy. All right, and also I would like for you guys to notice, although I am going to talk about it later, but um, there's been a lot of twos, a lot of twos in this reading, and that does mean something, all right? But go ahead and click like and subscribe for me. I really would appreciate it. Two of swords represents the worst all right, the worst of her decision. This is how she felt and how she was thinking. Now, this showed up in the reverse. She had a lot of twos and a lot of reverse. Um, and really just off rip, I'm thinking, okay, you know what? <laughs> this ain't funny, but, you know, the very first two was upright, and that was, you know, the two of cups and everything. And um, that was a deep emotional connection. And then, like, the rest are like, oh, reverse, reverse. You know, she's like, it's like a breakup. It really, really is, you know, because there was a deep emotional connection. So, I understand why there's twos running rampant. Um, but anyway, worst. Seeking a balance between the heart and the mind when this card is upright. And this is two of swords. And that's perfectly fine. However, it was reversed, which means she's refusing to deal with an issue. So, in the worst decision, as it related to the worst possible—excuse me, possibility—as it related to her decision to leave, would be her refusing to deal with this issue. And yeah, that would be bad because you can't refuse. I mean, well, I don't know what that would look like because, I mean, she did what she did and it was plastered everywhere on um, all around the YouTube nation. So I don't know if she, I don't know what that would look like to be to refuse to deal with it. But let's look at the clarifier. The clarifier is the science of psyche which is my sword energy card, okay? And it represents thinkers, doers, and communicators. And they slice through the bullshit, um, point blank period. That's the biggest and heaviest and most weighted meaning of this card, slicing through the BS, okay? That's what this card does. Also, if... It, it may also mean that someone in the situation could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, just because that's sword energy. But 
that's neither here nor there at this time. This one is mainly focused on this sword energy, so it's no coincidence that it comes out clarifying the two of swords. You understand what I'm saying? And this is in the worst position. And it also was reversed. All right? So the reversal means to not slice through the bullshit, to not communicate, to not do, to not think. That would be the worst. So her making this decision, you know, she's like, I'm, I'm not going to sit around and do nothing. That would be the worst. Because and I'm going to tell you something. I understand that because what she's saying, because I can I can feel it. What she's thinking is if she doesn't say anything, she, she's allowing other people to talk for her, to speak for her, to say for her. She can, she, she's like, I can do this myself. I can say this myself, you know, um, because she, she, you know, and I think that was already happening to be honest. Um, cause people were so, they was going in on her so bad. Um, I remember what kept being in my suggestions was her video and someone had, uh, put in, um, they overlaid, I'm dumb on it and I was like damn uh, that is so not nice that is so not nice and that kept showing up and kept showing up in my suggested videos and it was big and it was there and I was like oh my god so my point is is that her worst would be letting other people talk for her when she can talk herself but I think she kind of may have jumped the gun. But then also the best, just as a reminder, was her, you know what I'm saying, using this 15 minutes of fame and changing it. You know what I'm saying? Manifesting and doing something different, which is a good idea. It, it just didn't come to fru fru blah, blah, blah. fruition. All right, let's keep going. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, what's to come? I love it. I love this for Schoolboy. Well, I always want to say Schoolboy Q. Um, probably because I love that song um, in the studio. But anyway, um, anyway, all right. I'm not going to get sidetracked, I promise. Because I was going to ask, did he have any other good songs? But anyway, back to Schoolboy <laughs> and not Schoolboy Q. What's to come? The Magician. And you guys, it was upright. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord with a T. Goodness. Um, and this is the one card that is not associated with two. Um, and I'll break that down at the end. All right. What's to come? Upright. The magician. Having all the right tools at the right time when she is clear on what she hopes to accomplish. That's beautiful. And it's like... Like I said, I, I feel like Tyra Banks with that, we were rooting for you. Like, I don't know if you guys are rooting for her, but I, I am. You know, I, I feel like she's been beat up enough. Um, what she needs to do now, though, is uh, go deep inside, though, and hu hush them lips. You know, let, let the top and the bottom come together for a minute and just go inside and, you know, work on that mind, body, soul, meditate and all of that, whoop, whoop, you know, all of that, you know, heal yourself because there's a wound there, okay, because she felt like her and Monica had a very deep connection and, and you guys, okay, so just putting all BS to the side, not making fun of her, calling her mom or mommy or whatever um, she was doing, putting all that to aside, if you feel like, if you've ever felt like you had a deep connection, a friendship or something, and it's like over in a flash, like you trusted someone, and, and, and I don't know if she got the no, no answer call thing done to her, but I don't know what was done. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, I don't remember her saying she didn't get the no call. She just was set up to look like a fool. And so that's what hurt her feelings. Okay. But my point is that um, if you guys have ever felt like 
you had a friend and then your friend do something where you like, this bitch ain't my friend. <laughs> this ain't my friend. Friends don't do that. You, you, you needed some time to just kind of reflect on that. I don't think she's done that yet. And so she's coming out and being rude to some people and, and giving nasty reviews for restaurants and all this kind of stuff. All of that is because she has not paused, stopped, and, and brought that top and bottom lip together. And went inside to heal that wound. She, I'm going to be honest, I believe... And, and I have not done anyone else's breakdown as to why they left yet. But I believe right now she's hurt the most because she felt like that was a real emotional connection. And to see yourself being set up like that, it hurts. It's a wound. It becomes a wound. She has not let that wound heal. Anyway, moving right along. I'm very happy that what's to come is her being a magician, but she got she she got to heal first. She she wants to be the magician right now. No, sweetie, you ain't the magician right now. Nope, 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 nope. You're the you're more like the jester. So just just chill a little bit. You know, you gotta chill and heal. Chill and heal. Moving right along. Rushing into relationships. Rushing into beliefs. This that's what spirit told me just now. And the clarifier is unhealthy overindulgence. And it was in reverse. In this case, with it being in reverse, means that it's 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 um, to the tenth power. To the tenth power. Okay. <sighs> The person doing the overindulging is fully aware of the unhealthy habits, but they pretend to be oblivious or they are defensive when confronted. Unhealthy overindulgence to the 10th power. The person doing the overindulging is fully aware of the unhealthy habits, but they are, but they pretend to be oblivious or they are defensive when confronted. Now, let me say this. This could be the skin she needs to shed. Hopefully, because this is clarifying the magician. Hopefully, she has intentions to not be that way anymore. Hopefully she sees the errors of being like that and she plans on working on not being that way because that's the only way the magician inside will be able to come to fruition and work. You cannot, mm -mm. you can't be defensive when confronted. You can't, you can't do none of that. You can't overindulge. So hopefully, because see, it's, it's in reverse and it, it has a twofold meaning. She used to be like that heavily. Um, like that was her, like you couldn't tell her nothing type of thing. Once she believed something, once she locked in and focused on something, Right or wrong, that was what it was for her. And that's bad. <laughs> Being the type of person where can't nobody tell you nothing, that's bad. Okay? Um, but hopefully, I'm, I'm prayfully hopeful that she can turn this reversal instead of being in 10 times stronger in the wrong way reverse that mentality altogether moving right along energy influence here's the energy that she had as she made this decision as she was contemplating what to do and it is a major arcana the 
high priestess. Numeral uno. Wait, numeral. Anyway, numeral two. <laughs> and the key, it means the keeper of dark knowledge and what she gives cannot be explained logically. Now, when I'm saying she, I am talking about the high priestess, you guys. So, yeah, I'm going to start over because I didn't want anyone to be confused. The high priestess is her energy influence. The keeper of dark knowledge and what she gives cannot be explained logically. Although the message may be unnerving, there's no way around it. You have to muster up trust and dive in. This was in reverse. Honey, this was reversed, which means having an adverse reaction to spiritual certainty, such as confusion, denial, or delay. So, I have been getting the sense that she she does try to connect and is connected. Okay, let me not say try, because that's belittling or diminishing. She is connected to her higher power, all right? Um, I remember Bishop saying something kind of like making fun of that. <sighs> Judge not. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. But um, from this reading, I can tell she she does talk to higher power. She is connected with higher power. I can see it in this reading. However, the issue is that she shuts that stuff off. That's the problem right there. It's not whether or not she's connected to her higher power and whether or not she talks to her higher power and whether or not she asks for guidance and is guided. It's she cuts it off. So the thing about it is um, I feel like I'm on Sesame Street now. Like the lesson of today um, you know what I'm saying? Like whether you like it or not you you don't cut off the guidance from your higher power. Um, ooh, they said grow up, grow up. That's maturity, you know, because, um, those of us who are guided and led by our higher power, especially when you ask, okay, um, sometimes they are, the response is not what we want to hear or what we want to do. But it's something that we must do. You know what I'm saying? So that's the disconnect right there. It's not whether or not she has a higher power or talk to her higher power and all that. It's her doing that. Like when it gets, when the road gets tough or whatever, she's like, I'm out this beat. Like I'm out, I'm out, mm -mm. I'm out. You know, and that's the issue. Taking that easy road all the, all the darn time. Um, so the energy influence is the high priestess in reverse, which means she was shown something the way this is showing up. Because like I said, it can show up in different readings, meaning different things for different people in different ways. Okay. But for this one, she was shown something that she's avoiding, running from, running from. They're saying running from, running from, running from. Instead of diving in deeper to get a better understanding of whatever it is that, you know what I'm saying, she was shown. Which I guess, if I had to guess, she's confused about Monica's behavior. She thought they was ace boom coons. I, I don't even like to say that. I don't know where that came from, but I don't like to say the word coon. But like ace, aces, you know, like really good. They had a deep emotional connection. And she's hurt and doesn't understand what happened or why she was used in the way that she was used. And spirit is trying to show her where she went wrong, which is where they showed her the red flag and she ignored them. And she's still on that ignoring path. She's still running from it. She's going to have a dark night of the soul. 
that's where she's running to. She she don't know it. But and if she's listening, schoolboy, I think you're well, no, I'm not gonna say what I think your real name is, but you're gonna have a dark night of the soul if you don't stop the running. Um, but I'm talking to my sages. This is this is what happens. Okay, so spirit be guiding us all the time, especially when you ask. And then when you want to take their message and change it into whatever you want it to be changed into, or if you, which is something I made a mistake of doing, okay, a long time ago, or if you want to just ignore their answer or their message, what's going to end up happening is something called a dark, the dark night of your soul, the dark, dark night of your soul, goodness anyway you guys are gonna have to look it up because i'm not gonna be here for another hour talking your ear off about it but yeah so let's look at the clarifier so the clarifier is research before going forward it was reversed which means she didn't um but this research card first of all it it says um don't believe <laughs> Don't believe what you hear just because, you know, you trust that person. <coughs> and I thought I'd just say that. I didn't have to type it for you guys. But the main point that stood out to me was dangerously accepting ignorance as bliss. This card is a warning. This card is a warning. Research before going forward. And with it being reversed, it's saying that it's that she has a hair hair trigger reaction. And that's not um, good. All right. Moving right along. Now let's talk about these repeated twos. So we had two of chalices. Two of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the High Priestess, which is um, Roman numeral two. Then we also had Knight of Pentacles. And the way it's shown to me, the so that's a court card, all right? You know, in the court cards, we have King, Queen, Knight, and Page, all right? Um, often grouped together is the king and queen, period, because they're a couple. The um, knight and page are often grouped together as well, which makes two. And um, usually it's like the page is the sister, the knight is the brother, and they're grouped together, and then they make the family, okay? So I see that as two as well. So they're all twos. Every single position is a two, except the magician. Except the magician, which is what's to come. What this means is she has the tools to become whatever it is that she envisions that she wants to transform this 15 minutes into. I feel like it's not too late, but she just needs to take time and heal this wound. Now, all of these twos means she needs balance. She's lacking balance. She doesn't have, she's imbalanced, period. Her energy is imbalanced. Her she's just imbalanced and she's they're saying she's moving too fast. Um she needs to take time, right? She needs to take time and step back. It doesn't matter. Okay, so they're telling me she's looking at what all the rest of them are doing, all the rest of them are talking, all the rest of them are uh doing interviews and stuff. That doesn't matter. She's different. She, first of all, and I don't mean different like, oh, she's so special. She's so great. No, I just mean different as in different shit. If, if everything is blue and this one is yellow, then the yellow is different. Shit, that's what I mean. Um, but what I'm saying is she needs to not 
don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Do what's best for you. She needs to do what's best for her. What's best for her because she has a wound and it hasn't healed. And not to say that the rest of them don't have a wound, but if they do, it's not like hers. And she hasn't given it a chance to heal because she's too busy trying to keep up with what they doing. Like, oh, oh, so-and-so talking and so-and-so talking and they giving interviews. Let me, let me get on here too. Don't forget about me. That's not important. What's important is to heal that mind, body, and soul. Okay. Not how many interviews you can get under your cap. Not how many restaurant reviews you can get under your cap. That's not important. If you need to step back and take a year off and breathe and heal all of that, if that's what you need to do, do it. Because then you're going to come out being the best you you can be. And what's, and the thing about it is when people forget, and I need to put this on one of my magnets, um, what is for you will never can never be taken from you. What God has for you will never be taken from you. So it doesn't matter however many, she's trying to keep up with the Joneses. She see all the rest of them, you know, talking, 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 talking. It doesn't matter. She needs healing. They may not need healing on a level that she does. So anyway, these two, two, two the tools and the tools, because as that, that magician showing up was beautiful and it was upright. She has it. She needs to heal and then use those tools as best as possible. Okay. All these twos, they mean balance. She needs, she needs balance. She yearns for balance. She yearns for an emotional, a deep emotional connection with someone else. Okay. And this hurt her, period. And I have, I, I have sympathy for her for that. You know, and, and all of us should, you know, any, any kind of friendship where you thought y'all was just real good and stuff. And, and then they, you know, you found out something and it was like, what? You know, even if that was in high school or something like that, you still was like, what? You know, and so you just got to you can't just the very next day be interviewed and talk like I, I, that didn't mean nothing. Yes, it did. Yes, it does. And it did. So anyway, moving right along these twos. She needs balance. And and, and you know what? You ain't even going to get a right a, other connection until you get balanced and good within yourself you will only attract if you if you walk around like a big old wound this is how i want to say it this is how i want to say it i ain't gonna pretty it up if you walk around like a big old oozing hurt wound oozing out pus and stuff sorry hopefully nobody's eating but that's all you're going to attract period period you gotta let that heal all right, you got to let it heal. And yeah, it'll be a scar, but you know what? That scar will just remind you not to do that shit no more. I got a scar from being a tomboy climbing trees and climbing fences and stuff, and I got all scraped. But guess what? <laughs> and I bled. Ooh, I, t I, I <laughs> told my mom, I'm dying. I'm dying. You got to take me to the hospital emergency. I'm dying. I thought I was dying. It was so much blood. Um, and even when it healed, it looked like it was stitches. One of them kind of scars. When they so deep to where they heal, it looked like you had stitches, but you didn't. Um, but guess what? I never did it again. Uh, anytime I thought about climbing that particular fence, and even a tree, but it, it came from a fence. But I'm just saying, I used to climb a bunch of stuff. The point is, I didn't. That score, I was like, no, nah. I remember when I got this. And even my cousins and stuff was like, look at that. Remember when you got that? Why Why do people always want to point out and ask you, do you remember when you got that? Yes. Anyway, my point is, <laughs> you got to heal, schoolboy Q. You got to heal. Let yourself heal. And yes, it's going to be a scar, but you'll be all right. It's just going to be a memory of what not to do. All right, moving right along. And we've reached the end, you guys. Thank you so much 
Thank you so much for your support. And again, I'm asking you to click like if you liked it. And click subscribe if you haven't already. And click that bell so that when I do the next panelist, you are the first one to know. Okay? Um, and I just love this picture. It just seemed very appropriate. All right? Wishing schoolboy the best and sending love. All right? And I want you guys all to have a wonderfully blessed day and a beautiful day. All right? Find the beauty in your day. Just even if you feel like it's hard right now, I guarantee no matter how small, there's some beauty in your day. All right? I challenge you to find it. All right? Send the love to you all. And remember to wash your hands. Be safe. All right. I'm out.